Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting episode in our CorelDRAW design series. In this video I'll be showing you how I created this social media flyer inside of CorelDRAW. Right? If you've not gotten your smart designer program assets, it's still very much available. Make sure you get this asset because most of the resource file that I'm going to be using for a very long time is going to be inside of this premium assets. So it would also help you because you get 3D text, your fonts, and your background for your projects. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So, social media flyer, 5x5 RGB inches and um, 300, click OK like this. So you are greeted with this interface. Double click on this rectangle and I can go ahead and give it a white color. But I'm still going to change this color and make sure you remove the outline right so you can um, this is the white color so you can right click here or come here and click on none to remove the outline all right good so next thing i'm going to do go over to pen tool um i'm just going to click here once then double click here twice to end the line so you should have a line like this so what you should do is come over here, click and hold and select the smart fill and click once like this, right? So click on this line that we had created using the pen tool and delete it. So I left with this, right? So make sure you move the outline, select none. You can inc um, widen it like this. Perfect. I'm just going to change the color to a 40% gray. Select your rectangle to draw a rectangle like this. And I'm going to give it a different color so that I can differentiate between two of them. Remove the outline again for this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my resource file and I'm going into my graphic design bundle. That is the premium assets. You can see on that premium image, this is the image. I can use any one, this one or the red one. So I'm going to use this one for this um, exercise. So I'm going to reduce the size. You can see it's an, e it's an image you can use for your club flyer design or your party design. So I'll clip it inside here like this. Click on edit and um, adjust the size to fit the frame. You can see the frame, right? Uh, I don't want that legend inside, so I'm just going to bring it out like this and position it well. When I'm done, click on finish like this. So from this image now, I'm going to be using the colors on the image for my environment. This is what I mean. Select the eyedropper tool, click eyedropper, select this color here. And I'm going to give, you can see how it blends nicely. Now what I'm going to do next is go back to my selection tool, then go back to my I go back to selection tool, go back to eyedropper tool, select this color, and I'm going to give this part here. You can see how nicely blended it is, right? So you can choose any color at all from the image itself. So let's um, do some other things to this image, right? So with it selected, select it. Go over to your, um, okay, it's called the knife tool. Make sure the first option is selected, this one. And you want to draw a straight line, slanting line from this part here to this part like this. So when you do it, click out, you see, I've divided this image like this right so i can choose to make this side bigger like this and select the two of them and move them upward just a little bit and move them to the left so i have space for my text okay so i'm just going to draw an ellipse before i bring in my text and it's not meant to be perfect i'm just going to draw this like this and i'm going to select a color from this part here to 
give the ellipse like this. Of course, remove the outline. Go over to your tools and select the smear tool. And if you are used to Photoshop, the smear tool just works the way Liquify works. Right? So this is like Liquify tool inside of Photoshop. So I'm just going to smear this the way I want it. Yours might be different from mine, your outcome. So I'm just going to change the direction of this and this and this and this and this and this and this this like this and this is what I created from it so I'm just going to use it as a background for this design though it's not perfect but you can spend time on your own and um, achieve perfection with this I hope you've learned something new change the uh, the blend mode to overlay and like this the good thing about this is you can actually change the color to fit your taste reduce the um, opacity like this bring this down here like this and now i want to crop out areas i don't need so i'm going to use my crop to draw make sure you are selecting first so i'm just going to draw this i'm going to zoom in so i am not outside of the page so this is perfect this is perfect i can also zoom out to check this part here perfect then click on crop you can see it has gotten rid of those extra outside right so like i said you can also change the color I'm trying to change the color of the background, so I'm selecting this. Um, just looking for something that would match the background that I created. Right, so... Um, reduce this. And... Um, I'm just going in to bring my text. So drag and drop, I had to spend time to create this so that we would not waste time on this video. So I'm just going to drag. Also the font that I use, the Galano Grotesque is part of the premium designer assets inside the font pack. You have close to, um, close to 1,000 and um, 1,500 fonts inside of that archive, right? And these are all premium fonts. So for this for this background, I want to um, actually change it to something that I used. I'm trying to see which one would actually go with what I have existing. I think this is nice. But to be safe, I had created this. So I'm just going to bring it inside like this. And I'm just going to sample the color like this and apply it here. Then everybody goes on happy, right? Now, um, if you're interested in my templates, these templates are available on the website in the Telegram group. So you can do well to click on the links and the link could also be in the description of this video so that you can get these templates for your ready to use sessions anytime you want right so um i'm going to reduce this one opacity or increase it just to blend well you can see the one i created before it's kind of different from the one i have now so when you're using your smear to try and be um creative with it right that's just the secret so this is what you have here this is what we have created right 
I'm just going to turn this up like this and I'm good to go guys. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Yeah. Okay guys, if you've liked this video, if you've gotten something for this from this video, kindly make sure you click the like button, share this video and above all, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.